Good morning, everybody. You're going to want to take a seat for this one. I can't believe where we are, but grab your chair, pull it up, walk up to the crafting table with copper ingots, and in a two by two formation, a two by three formation, just like that, we have won. I can't believe it. Copper trap doors. If we go ahead and take this thing and do it in the other formation like that, we have also won copper doors just like that. Now, unfortunately, sliding into the stone cutter, if I put blocks in here, well, uh, now that I think about it, we were never able to make the doors inside of the stone cutter. So yeah, this is beautiful. If I go ahead and throw a honeycomb into the recipe, well, nothing happens. And instead, getting a little ahead of myself, I put a honeycomb over here. I can go ahead and wax a trap door one by one. But <laughs> did I just find copper trap door duplication recipe? Sure looks like it. <clears throat> All right, the joke's up. You're not suffering from severe brain deterioration, and I sure hope I'm not either. No, 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 that whole segment was a bit familiar, intentionally so. It was Snapshot Day Preview Day earlier this week, and today, <laughs> spoilers, today is indeed a Snapshot Day, my dudes. Minecraft Snapshot 24W18A with a change log that is over 900 characters long. What is going on with the devs and these massive change logs? This snapshot is an absolutely gigantic snapshot. Look, I can't even read it, but I can sure tell that that's a lot of words, and those words all amount to over 57 or about 57 bug fixes and so many other changes changes we got to take a look at them one by one hey uh, also if you were wondering about my live stream that i was meant to do today at noon by the time you're watching this hopefully i'm live the main menu panorama you take a look at this thing it's beautiful now i thought in here accessibility settings panorama scroll speed oh man i can only slow it down well if i want to pause it on hero brian then this is what it looks like. That's too bad I can't like speed it up way quicker. Oh wait, yes I can. What in the world have I done here? How have I done it? The world may never know. Spinning around and taking a look at this panorama is just like how it was on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's a trial chambers. It's like dark, it's dim, it's a little bit creepy in here. You know, the whole sitch, the vibe. Yeah, it matches with 1.21. When creating a world for Minecraft 1.21, which still doesn't have a release date, oh, take a look at that experiments in here. There's one big missing one. Villager trade rebalance is still an experiment. Bundles are still an experience nine years later. But 1.21 is not. That'll all mean you make a world inside of today's snapshot 2418A. 1.21 is just here by default. All right, now next up today, I want to head deep down under the ground and take a look at some of the chambers. Inside of this week's snapshot, similar to how we saw it go down in the preview this week, the Trial Chambers has received probably its final round of upgrades, reworking, adjustments, balancing, all of it. Sliding into the Trial Chambers right here and looking around, I found maybe the most beautiful one. <laughs> oh man, I really hope generation like this stays in the Minecraft 1.21 because, oh man, that is so cool looking. But, well, 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 what do I have here? A hint of something new. This is definitely a new room that I've never seen before. With a table set up, a cafe inside of the trial chambers. Oh, with a small secret leading to said cafe as well. Oh, no. How long has that been here, guys? I've, I've never seen that before. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what would happen to the rest of the room. We're going to have to check in another one. All right, so other than the obliterated amethyst geode cutting through here, we've got a lot of new things to take a look at, including here I've found it finally, the entrance room. My first big question over here, we'll go ahead and go at it backwards. Is there a bed here? No, no bed in the secret spawn room anymore. That's weird. All right, then moving around here, we had a moment of truth. Is this a brand new tree room? Brand new tree room. Whoa, a brand new tree room for sure. I've never seen that one. A mangrove tree sitting inside of this room. It's small, it's quaint. What biome are we in? Dripstone cave. Okay, valid. Now, these loot containers right here, those are same old, same old, unchanged. This one right here, well, we do have some changes. Let's take a quick pause from checking out some trial chambers to go ahead and open some loot boxes. Why not? All right, so I don't know exactly statistically, mathematically, how rare this thing is, but allegedly from the vault, the plain old, plain old one. Sometimes, if we're lucky, oh, oh right there, we'll be able to get a brand new music disc. But anyways, back to the trial chambers. Moving around the remainder of this one, it looks vaguely familiar. Let's find more. So at today's snapshot, one big thing that I'd like to know, tell me all about it down in the comments, is how do you feel about Minecraft 1.21 and where it's at right now? Are you happy with the state that the update's in? What, do you think it needs more? Call it down below. Ooh, yes, this is gonna be a good trial chamber. I absolutely love this room, and well, 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 is this perhaps one of the new traps that we have here? I almost wanna figure it out right now, but I almost wanna like, Wait till survival and, and check it out then. 
Oh, but what in the world do we have going on over here? This is different. I don't know if this is a bug or, or what, but why is there netherrack inside of here? This is, is this the first time it generates? Well, I guess the ruined portal, but... All right, now moving around these corridors right here, we're going to find a couple more chests than normal before. These chests, it was a big mystery in the preview video from earlier this week on Wednesday. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, previews are essentially the same thing as snapshots. So if you're ever looking for more Minecraft updated content, consider checking out the preview showcases. Anyway, inside of the chambers, from time to time, you'll find empty chests sitting around. This is so you can go ahead and take a break and maybe drop off some of the loot that you found before taking on even more of the chamber. I think it's a cool thing that the devs are building containers like that into this whole thing, because if you think about it, when they added the vault, they basically removed most of the chests. I would say 90% of them. Oh, you know what? Aha! Uh, I solved the mystery! It's not really the trial chambers. It's a different structure. The ruined portal itself popping into the chambers. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so moving around, we got a familiar room. Oh, dangerous in here. We've got a, what is that, cave spider right there. Then we've got, I think, baby zombie, maybe. Or just plain old zombie, I'm not too sure. And then we get this stray. Oh, oh behind door number one, we have a brand new container with loot. And behind the door number two, we have... A staircase. Whoa, boy. We were looking for the entrance room in this structure. You know, the one with the tree always. Well, a plot twist. The one with the tree always is no more. We speculated on it in the preview video. Sure enough, it's confirmed. This room that we're taking a look at right here is a brand new entrance. This time, the door is going to be vertical. It's going to be up in the air right there. So you drop down into the room. Then here we go. We got our semi survival experience. So dead end over there. Then we go ahead and walk down. And I think this might be mildly different every time. But anyways, we got a big spiral staircase. Surprise. Chest right there with a little bit of supplies we walk all the way down we walk to the back corner nothing right there i think i've found chests sitting right there before moving over towards this room right here the atrium we've got another container we've got another container moving it back into this room right here though we could definitely see a little bit more you get a little bit of a hint that there's more right here with the copper grades if you're very intuitive or a different staircase but if we walk back here we see this fully aged ball pull the ball out pull the block out pull a couple more blocks out and all right, well, that's definitely not how I get to it. Okay, so instead, we go ahead and just go with the grate right there, and we find a different staircase right here, disconnected. Following this staircase all the way back up to the top of the room, we've got a bolt. All right, so for my next change of the day that we're going to take a look at, oh, I'm going to regret this. I know it. <laughs> here we have a big grand atrium room. Inside of the atrium room, off in the distance, we have a baby zombie spawner and a poison spider spawner. Ominous bottle right here, level 5, by the way. We're going to go ahead and drink this one and take on the Ominous Challenge because in today's snapshot, quite a few changes have been made to the Ominous Challenge. First off, whoa, that activated from way farther away. That's dangerous. Maybe I could do, like, one at a time. Ominous Spider, get out of here. Go away. Now, the big thing with this Ominous Spider challenges is there's going to be more bad guys that dropped on the ground than ever before. It's not good. You see, uh, think about how spiders can't wear equipment. So, uh, yeah, those normal ominous challenges with, like, zombie, they can wear equipment, so it's inherently more dangerous. Well, the spider one wasn't really, other than the effect. To make the difficulty more difficulty, uh, you're going to have more spiders jumping out at you than ever before, and, like, a higher total. Leave me alone. Satan, leave me alone. Uh, oh, God, I... No, there's more. Oh, no, and it's by the baby zombie. What do you mean? Yeah, um, of course I came into the structure with that bow. Of course. Goodbye, final spider. You're done. You're cooked. Just sitting in the corner. You loser. All right. A little pause from the trial right here because I definitely beat that one. Let's take a look at that. And voila. Whoa, oh, that's beautiful. All right. However, unfortunately, there is no more delay. Let's go ahead and get closer to the baby demonic demon spawner over here. The baby zombie spawner. Uh, hello, friend, unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh. Oh, this is the best news of my life. Yeah, so this actually showcases it perfectly. The zombies that come from the ominous one. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? You can't, can't jump down. The zombies are naturally geared up, making the challenge way more dangerous. However, the spiders weren't. There's more spiders, blah, blah, blah. And just like that, I've beaten not one, but two ominous challenges. What do I have over here? Not rotten flesh. That's been removed. Instead, we get my favorite meal of all time, steak. All right, so right here, ominous trial spawners with mobs that are unable to wear equipment now spawn double the total mob count over the course of the challenge. These changes have an additional mob out at once while its challenge is ongoing. Also, no more bottle of enchanting. Over across the rest of the chamber, I think it's time for a little bit more action. I love that the ominous effect actually lasts, like, a long time. Now, this is great. An hour and 15 minutes, that's long enough to actually, like, do a couple of laps, like, through this structure. 
I guess it all depends on how concise and focused you are with the structure, but I just love it. This is one of my biggest things. We were testing it out on stream a couple of weeks ago, and it was, like, really fun, but you would lose the ominous effect, like, really, really quick. Anyways, skeletons, goodbye, losers. The breeze from all the way across the room. What are you doing? You, you narcissist. I didn't get close enough to you. You shouldn't have popped out quite yet. No, 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 no. Where are you? Oh, the breeze combat experience is so fun, by the way. It, like, plays really, really nice. Not a lot of danger or damage, but it's just, like, challenging and cool. Anyways, I think I should set it off. Standing on this trap. Oh, I... What happened? I don't know. Oh, slowness. It spit slowness out at me. Or at least it tried to. Or where is it spitting it out? I don't even know. All right, jumpy buddy, jumpy buddy. Stop it, stop it. My life fell asleep because uh, of how I was sitting. This is making this trial even more difficult. Stop. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. Come on, buddy. Bring it on. I got all day long. Bring it on. Goodbye. Look at that. A brand new empty chest. is one Whoa. Hey, how many are there? Wait a second, are there more breeze in an ominous trial? Is this something that I never noticed? Oh, there's two of you. Or is there another spawner somewhere in this room? I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> but you're done. Okay, so I keep like trying to jump and like hit the breeze midair. Unfortunately, I can't do it. That's gotta be it, right? Aha, that's it. Oh, that was fun. And by the way, here's another empty chest. You're going to see quite a bit of those all over the structure. It's kind of cool. Let's see if we can parkour all the way over to the ominous vault. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this parkour. It's not bad with a ceiling in the way. Mm, just like that, I've made an easy jump right over to the vault. Let's go ahead and open you up, please. Give me that new reward. The new reward. A trim. That's maybe even better. Ah, no new reward, man. That's a... Whoa. Hey. Oh, that's different. All right, so I think I've gone ahead and stumbled right into some of the technical changes here. Diamond chest plate went on feet, minus 30% to burning time, but it doesn't worry. So a little bit too much information right here, but went on body, plus eight armor, plus two toughness, minus 30% burning time. It's explaining the fire protection enchantment now. Oh, that's really interesting. I definitely don't think it, it said that before, right? It just said the enchantments and then the armor information, the statistics. I'm pointing at the monitor. You probably can't see me pointing. Well, that was a little bit of a spoiler because they don't want to talk about those quite yet. Instead, I want to talk about those 20 brand new paintings. We've got the five ones that we saw from Sarah Bobing a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful looking. And if you're looking for the names of the paintings, I've laid them out in here. You can probably put two and two together and figure out which one is which here. For example, unpacked is packed up PNG. It's kind of beautiful. Moving on, we've got 15 brand new masterpieces by the classic OG Zetterstrand. In the inventory, if we take a look at paintings now, one, two, three, four, five. Like almost six rows full of paintings here. This stuff is absolutely insane. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus the one that is just the generic one for all of them. We've got a total of 50 paintings in Minecraft now. 50 total of paintings. These things are insane. Now, this one right here, I have a little bit more insight onto the specific names now. It's called Pond. It's a tragic pond scene, like we said. We've got a woman moving her latest um, offering down into the pond, hiding it for no one to find. This one is definitely called Nintendo Switch, though. Funnily enough, the sunflower one right here with the one sunflower, two sunflower, three sunflower, four sunflower, potentially five or six or more sunflowers behind the wall, it's actually called sunflower. This is a Boomba Foo over here. I was shocked how many of you guys got the reference. It's actually called, um, uh, hold Hold on, I have to look this up. It's called Owl Lemons. Owl Lemons. I don't think that's an owl. That's definitely a lemur, and that's a lemon, valid, whatever. My interpretation of this one might have been correct. It's called the passage, and I'm seeing it as the passage of time, right? I said it's like the creation of how things to come to be, I thought. Ah, the dweller scene. It's terrifying looking, and just in general, look at all of these paintings. If you're looking for a little bit more beautiful artistic interpretation as well as critiquement, go ahead and check out the preview video next. There's 20 minutes there of other changes, too. There are, how However, a couple of big changes that haven't made to this snapshot and a couple of changes unique to this snapshot. So first things first, I discovered on preview a couple of weeks ago, if I put the masons out of the enchanting table, I was getting the other mace enchantments as well, like let's say Bane of Arthropods and whatever. Is that going to happen here? I know the enchantments are now like a lot of them mutually exclusive, but density and breaching. No, they're not. Yeah, so one of the big changes that is probably coming to Java soon is changing with the mace and making enchantments mutually exclusive breaching density they're not going to be together ever 
In fact, to taking a look at the changelog for mentions of the mace, mace enchantments are slightly more common in the vault, so cool, it's easier to find. And then we have like technical stuff going on down here involving the mace. We really don't have a very many mace changes at all. That is, until we get all the way down to the million, trillion, bajillion and a half bug fixes that we have. Projectiles. We have quite a few changes when it comes to the knockback and how it's dealt and passed out with these things. A dispenser with fire charge with target in front of it, go ahead and hit something, and the knockback is going to go in the direction that that thing was traveling. Same thing is going to happen with the arrow. If I hit something, the arrow is going to knock the entity like straight back now. Knockback from splash potions, which by the way, was that a thing before? Well, it's going to push away from the center of the potion. Maybe it doesn't work with that one though. What about this one? Hmm. I'm not seeing any knockback happen. <laughs> Look, I'm still going to say it, though. I hate to be that guy, but if we can throw the wind charge, why can't we throw the fire charge? We should totally be able to do that by the time 1.20 drops. Like, imagine being able to wander around your world and just throw fireballs at people. <laughs> kind of like you get with the wind. Man, that'd be so cool. Mm-hmm. So music discs, music discs. This Wednesday, I really thought there was going to be this first snapshot with all of this stuff, including listening to beautiful music discs. So I went ahead and built to myself this wonderful listening room where I could say like pop a disc inside of a box like that music box probably my favorite one then I go ahead and sit in the seat and you know just like all around vibe out I put it in cinematic camera maybe look around listen to the terrifyingness but we have technically already done them I don't want to waste your time so after this video finishes up Go ahead and check out the preview video from earlier this week. Right near the end, I show off a little bit of the discs, or even better, listen to them in-game. Now, last but not least here, because to be honest, I could try and interpret all this technical stuff for you, but I, but I guarantee I'll end up just interpreting it wrong. So if you're into technical stuff, dig into it a little bit more. Maybe we'll talk about it on stream. Come and enlighten me, please. Last but not least, bug fixes. We have quite a few bug fixes inside of this update as well. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of the greatest hits of these bug fixes right now. This order right here has fire aspect. This candle is on the ground unlit. If I hit the candle with fire aspect, ha <laughs> ha, take a look at that. You could use a fire aspect sword to light candles now. That is so cool. Imagining me, I'm cosplaying as a breeze. I throw this ball over here at the candle, and sure enough, it can unlight the candle. Well, when mob griefing is set to false, it will not be able to unlight the candle, and this breeze ball isn't going to be able to interact with a bunch of the things in the world when it comes from the breeze. That's a big key there. Now, if you didn't know, when it comes to these bug changelogs right here, on the changelog, they're always listed in order. The first one right here is going to be the oldest bug. Meanwhile, the one all the way at the bottom is going to be the newest one. The oldest bug that is no longer existing is from 2014, right at the beginning, almost 2013. This ancient bug had to do with entities not receiving knockback from projectiles from dispensers, like I showed you earlier. I don't know who in the world uses the thorns enchantment, but if I had a guardian under the water attacking me and I had thorns on, hey, bucko buddy, I'm right over here, attack me. If he attacks me and I have thorns on, previously the enchantment wouldn't have worked, and now, mm hmm, you get a little bit of a knockback. Leave me alone. We've got a couple of buffs to the soul speed enchantment, buffs and fixes, that is. For example, if you had soul speed boots on and you were in a minecart on top of soul sand, durability would be used. There's a couple other soul speed bug fixes as well. Ah, how do I always sleep on this enchantment? However, I have noticed this. When I have soul speed on and I jump, like run jump, <laughs> there's some crazy FOV stuff happening. So maybe we got to hold off on it, sleep on it a little longer. Anyways, Minecraft snapshot 24 W18A, the first 1.21 snapshot. What do you think about everything that's going on? You let me know down below. There's a little bit more that I personally want to dive into slightly more, including the trial chamber changes. So keep your eyes out for a video from that soon. Right here at the end, a huge thank you to my patrons, Ground Crazy May, Medical Boomstick, Fire Dragon 19, Steve M, and Nick C. Thank you so much. Until next time, it's been me, your handsome lad Waddles. Tap like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.